What? Oh. Uh. Alright. Hello! The master volume needs to go down so that the music can, can, can play. Hello! Welcome to another uh, game of Elden Ring. My name's Isaac Anzu, the best boss you'll never have. I'm suspiciously alone today. <sighs> well, with new updates comes new problems, and hopefully it'll just be one stream. We'll figure out a solution if it's more than one stream, but... Uh, yes, the seamless co-op mode... Mod, I should say, has broken. And as you can see, I don't even have my save files on this version. I just have... Uh, that guy. So let's say we, we just start a, a new game. Huh? Why not? Anyway, it's Isaac Anzu, the uh, the lyrical, clerical, chimerical VTuber. We're going to call this um, Solo Joe. Man, everybody's all like, oh, I need my, um, what do, we, what, what do we take here? Nothing is particularly, um, nothing is particularly good, huh? We just see the golden seed. Everybody's all into like the the uh, character creator. I guess we should check out the um, who's the most scrungly. Give me a Newman. The young Newman. Wahoo! Hi, Dolu. Man. Isn't it just the worst? We making an Oompa Loompa? We can make an Oompa Loompa. Uh, isn't it just the worst when you've got to wait on things? Yes. Oh my god, he's... Wait. Yes, that's what I want. Alright, let's check out these new hairstyles. There are new hairstyles, apparently. Five new hairstyles. Ooh, that's a very Isaac hairstyle, isn't it? We got the dreads. We got an even more Isaac hairstyle, like the loose, loose braids. I like that. More dreads. <gasps> Hanging over the eye. Yes. Okay. Emo, emo man located. Um, yeah, see, his hair is so lustrous. I guess this doesn't do anything uh, when the base. Oh, that's a lot of white hairs. No white hairs. It's a shame we can't do. Uh... It's a shame we can't do. Like one streak of white hair that would make him the most emo. Give me a similar face. Wait, let's just make a, a base structure. Can we just make the Chad face, but pink? PayPal support was ended in India. Sag, figuring out a way to resub. Oh no. Uh, jaw protrusion. There we go. Jaw width. 
Very good. Lower jaw. Very good. Jaw contour. Very good. Now that's that's jaw. Chin. Chin tip position. I don't know, that's fine. Chin length. Yes, long. Protrusion. <laughs> Wait, I'm just making Dolu's character. Oh no, I can't escape it. <laughs> it has worked? What has worked? The install stuff? The ch this chin is mighty. You're in seamless right now? Okay. This is... We're gonna save this guy. Can I, can I save? Save to favorites? Oh, I have an Isaac saved as my, my favorite. Or maybe not. Uh, Want to take a leap of faith and have a go. Um, I don't want to mess around with install stuff too much. You know. Not today. <laughs> um, we have our Chad, but pink. I didn't give him the thickest of body types, but that's OK. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I guess I guess uh, I just want the music down. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so. Um, the DLC is out, and I think that rather than trying to change how the game is installed so that it works. Uh, I'm going to be the patient gamer that I love being and just kind of wait, <laughs> you know. Sub my, sub my boy, how's it going? Let's see. Let's see if we can parry this bad boy. Oof. Okay. Don't know that move. The answer was no. I can't parry that guy. <laughs> Uh, thus begins the chatliest of playthroughs. The we must see the uh, we must see the chin, dude. Why 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 he looking good though? Why he looking fresh? you make your if you make your character chadly enough how can you call me maidenless you fool i am so pretty <laughs> 
Where was Golden Wow? Golden Vow? Um, Golden Vow is in Mount Gelmir. Give me a flask charge. Thank you. All right. Um, right, first things first. Let's get horse. Uh, Golden Vow is in Mount Gelmir. If you start at the normal area, um, you can, uh, let's see, start at the normal area and just keep crossing bridges. Don't go up any ladders and eventually you'll find a cabin that has Golden Bow in it. You'll probably get invaded as well. Uh, look at the tiny little menu. I'm used to the larger oh, menu. I can also see that you're not up. Then why not purchase it? I am Carly. I'm standing here looking down at you with a fucking uh, dagger in my hand. And you're Goodbye. like, I can see that you're not after my throat. You're very perceptive. All right. Let's. Just getting started, but don't give up. All right. Time to get used to Buckler Fairy. Too early. Probably can't carry that. I can't carry that. Too early. Give me, give me a parry. Give me a parry. Come on, bro. There we go. Oh. Plus zero weapon. One shot him. Uh. Huh? Let's do it again. If this is true, if this is a true parry build, oh, too late, too late. If this is a true parry build, all right, that attack is easy to parry. I need to anticipate some of these other attacks. All right, we'll take that. Now the question is, do we go fight the beast man right now? Or do we get torrent first? I guess we get torrent first. Stay back, you fiend. Okay, that was way too early. Ooh. Torrent first. Lumi says torrent too. I guess Torrent also gives me the ability to level up. Let's go get Torrent. Uh, the real question, I guess, is... Do we... Go fight Morgoth with a plus zero weapon? <laughs> Not Morgoth, Margaret. Of course, is what I meant. Because you can beat him with parries. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Hello, mysterious lady. Have you heard? They serve, but you Give me my horse. Turning room to aid you. You need o to the foot. I accept. Settle. Summon me. Ah, I bequeath. Thank you. Some torrent. <laughs> Treat him with... Goodbye. Um, get rid of the memory of grace, add my spectral steed whistle, and let's go.
We only have 231 runes. It's not even enough for a level. Right? Right. So there's no point in... Thing. Seamless or not, you can still call me a support, right? Because of the finger thing? Um... I believe... I believe so? I'd have to use a, a furled finger calling remedy. What's that? What's that wolf doing? That wolf is doing stuff. <gasps> Flask. Uh, who needs blue flask? Not me. Take stone sword key. Talk to you. Calm down. I'm just jumping. Okay, bye. Tell them I... Pearl calling finger remedy. I need to collect air tree flowers and the crafting kit. Uh, this is wild strikes. I don't need that. Where we're going, we don't need that. We're ready for some true frustration. Who needs things like levels? Not us. Who needs things like the Flask of Cerulean Tears? Not me. I've learned all I need to know on the streets. I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the best. I'm not going to even talk to Melania. I'm not even going to pick up this shit from the summon. I'm not even going to summon Roger. I'm going to go in here totally unupgraded. Get down here, Margaret. If that is your real name, which I know it isn't. We've been defeated. <laughs> the luck was too late. <laughs> Harry, Harry. Ugh. Oh, yeah. They added uh, a new items system. Mark new items and show recent items tab. Yes, yes, please. Recent items. Wow. Well, honestly, the recent items tab is hella good. A hella good thing to add because people are going to be getting the DLC and finding new items and being like, what the fuck? Oh, he takes two. Sure. What's our damage like? Eh, it's not bad. Too early. Perfect. I guess I would be too slow, huh? So he's got two different... Side swipes. Oh, I lost my runes, didn't I? Oh, well. <gasps> New loading screens. That is actually hype. 
Eventually you see all the loading screens, right? Eventually you see all the loading screens. Goodbye. Oh, way too early. Ow. What is it? Watch the hands. Iron Casket Beast. Iron Casket Beast? Is that a new thing? Um, we saw the new loading tip. The new loading tip that's like, do the, um, do the menu. Do the new, the new items menu. Ow. Bro. I wonder... That attack's gotta be parryable, right? <sighs> the problem is that not all the attacks are parryable. But I think... I think all the stick attacks are parryable. Items acquired for the first time will be marked with a... Bling. What's the Iron Casket Beast? Is that a new guy from the DLC? <gasps> a new boss to interview? This will be my most difficult interview yet. Okay, that's definitely not. Okay. Level zero Morgot. Level zero Margot. Showed up on your loading screen. Ooh. Oh wait, was that a new tip? You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Ha 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 ha. Unless you modded the game. I dodge. Uh, I absolutely dodge that move. One, two, three. Too early. Too early. Good. Okay, don't try to heal after you parry. There we go. Repulsed. Do a few parries. Okay, that does not seem... Parryable. This seems parryable. <laughs> it seems parryable. This is my training arc. I'm on a corporate retreat. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm I'm learning how to be a boss from the best bosses. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna update the. Yeah, chilling in the lands between. Uh, um, corporate treat. Taking the alpha mode course. That's right. We're learning how to be a true alpha alpha mode. I mean, look at the chin. This is this is the alpha. Also, hello, Crumble. I'm trying to I'm trying to take Khan's advice and be more uh, talkative on stream. I realize that is probably ooh, difficult when I'm uh, trying to learn how to parry this guy as well. But you know what? That's just part of the Elden Ringo experience. 50k for this? That's just disrespectful. 50k? 50k what? Dollars? Oh, for the Alpha course? Yeah, I know. Ooh. It looks like he only follows up a, a parry with a few different attacks. Oh, I forgot we still have to learn the second phase. This this will be a long one. Ah, got it. 
Oh, I want to know if you can parry that stab attack. Also, do I have to parry him in a row in order to, to get a, a repost, or is it just two parries? We don't talk about the second phase. Uh, oh, a new loading screen again. Let's go. Dragon chilling at the bottom of a mountain. Have you ever been to the mountains? I've been to the Appalachian Mountains, which which are different from the Alps. The Alps are in Europe. The Appalachians are in. Ow, ow. Uh, the Appalachians are in America, but it's 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 the, the mountains that I've been to and they are gorgeous. They're all up, all up in the uh, in the sky, you know, these mountains in the sky. They're very tall is what I'm trying to say. Brain work less good when um, baby trying to learn how to parry. Oh, way too early. Apple Nation Mountains. <laughs> uh, no, no. Appalachian. He's so quick with that little scoop slash thing. What he what what that what that knife do? He got them Apple Nation Mountains. Uh fjords with the fur. The whole continent was looking at her. How the fuck would you make that parody? Ah, you can. Okay. Ow. Ow. Okay. He keeps telling me to put my foolish ambitions to rest. I don't wanna. <laughs> Hope you're ready for two and a half more hours of this. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to see the new loading tip. There's new, so much new stuff happening. You can just see the Sigma hidden inside. Yeah, he's, he's my, uh... Ooh, nice. No. He's my Sigma trainer. Oh, a little too early, I think. Ouch. Got him. Every every good Sigma male needs a a, a Sigmentor, right? Ah. Hey, uh, cheerio. Beat me to it. Wait. <laughs> okay, got it. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that is definitely not very cool. The Sigmentor. Great minds. Great minds don't think alike. Isn't that like the point of a, a great mind is that it's not like the other girls? Got him. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. that was close. Like they say great minds think alike, but isn't it actually that you're a great mind because you don't think alike? I think my, I think my, um, is that a new loading screen? It is. You can tell because the, there's the little ghost gravestones. Great minds think alike. Dumb minds seldom differ. Wait, isn't that just, isn't that just saying like everybody thinks the same? Right? Great minds think alike. Dumb minds think alike. 
Everybody thinks alike. We've discovered it, the hidden message in the message. These foolish ambitions to I gotta remember that I can I can smack him a little bit in between parries. Show me. No, no new no, no new loading tips. I'm not a great mind. I just got lucky. Everybody thinks the same. It's the every every like uh, piece of of secret advice has every every piece of cultural wisdom has a bit of secret cultural wisdom hidden inside it. I think, right? Like how Khan always talks about how blood is thicker than water means pretty much the opposite of what you think it means. Give me... I'm gonna die a hundred thousand times to that knife attack. But yeah, aren't the truly great minds the ones who actually don't think alike. <gasps> I jumped. Welcome to the Chad School of Chadliness. Your teacher, Margaret the Fell Omen, is here to teach you how to. Uh... Ow. How to be Chad. How to be very Chad. I gotta, I gotta, like, uh, one, two, three. All right, got it. Didn't get it, but I got a partial parry. Why does my character just stand there sometimes? Don't tell me my controller's bugging out again. Or my graphics card. Oh no. Why now? Oh no, why now? <laughs> Goodbye, crew world. Okay. These foolish animations to rest. Uh <laughs> is blowing on it going to help? All my years of video game experience have trained me for the fact that blowing on my controller will help. Maybe, Dolu, maybe it's better that we didn't play today. <laughs> okay, now it's working. Ooh. Is the ancient, ancient and powerful secret of... Let's read this message. Try blood loss. It's a little late. Oh, that was a tail attack. Better what? Uh, maybe it's better that we didn't play today because my controller is also fucking up. Ah, he's so slow. Oh, fuck. Maybe it's better. I'm just off my game today. Just off, off the game. I felt that. <sighs> Level zero, Margaret. I want it. It doesn't mean I'm going to get it there. A recess is fine. Man, play Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, there's the new season of Deep Rock Galactic that I have not played yet. Um. But I want to do this. Also, if my controller is busted, it won't matter what game I'm playing. No tail attack this time. I think they actually adjusted the parry frames on some... 
some some uh, weapons in the in the update. There we go. Ow. Yeah, his little knife attacks are just so not fair. But I guess I'm just not used to him yet. These foolish ambitions. I want to know. I want to know if you can parry, parry the thrust. Um, another new loading screen. Those are the uh, crosses of Mikola. I know things because I watched the trail. I am not immune from the hype. It is true. Oh, bro. I have to say, the, the thing that I miss the most already is Turtle Talisman. My stamina does not come back as quick as I would like it. I guess we can find out now if I need to parry him, like, in a row. I don't. Push him off the edge. Ah, uh, that would be too easy. I would feel bad. I would start over. I want to beat this guy at his own... Ah! Parry game. Normal, normal stuff just happening normally. Yeah, I I was reading the patch notes. I can't remember if they mentioned the buckler's shield specifically, but I I saw they changed the parry. Oh, God. Well, that was kind of him to let me fully heal. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe I should practice on not Margaret. Do you think? No, we practice on Margaret. This guy's gonna. This guy's gonna teach us everything he learned in Harvard Business School. These foolish <laughs> ambitions to rest. So that's what they teach you in Harvard Business School. Hmm. Is that a new one? Yeah, that's definitely a new one. I have no idea who those people are. old man and lady. Okay, good. Put these foolish ambitions to rest. Feels like you can parry most of the stick attacks. <gasps> Worm! Worm. What? What the hell is it? Watching this reminds me of my very first playthrough. It does feel like that. Just you get knocked down, you get up again. They're never going to bring you down too early. Just right. These foolish ambitions to the rest. Gross. <laughs> Let's see, actually made a channel point redeem of the put these foolish ambitions to rest. That's actually sick. I like that. Now I parry. Now my controller stops working. Oh, no. Uh, 
Controller? Controller. Why? Come on. Oh, and the game is freezing too. Oh, uh, Scuff Stream. Let's go. Playing a precision game with Scuff. That's that's how we roll. It's my entire life. The controller heard Morgan's message. Put your foolish motherboard to rest. Do controllers have motherboards? They got it, right? Controller is just a piece of hardware. It's got to have a, a motherboard in it, right? Oh, we're working again. Put your foolish GPU cycles to rest. What do you call the ambition of a computer? That's not a joke. Got him? All right, now that we know we can parry uh, after an indefinite amount of time, let's try parrying after an indefinite amount of time. There we go. And now I have a heal window. God, he really makes you wait, doesn't he? He's just like... Uh, okay, you don't want to get behind him because of the tail. Oh, my foolish ambitions. But I parried you twice. You hater. Dude is the biggest hater. I'm just a lowly tarnished. My skin is fluorescent pink. My jawline is majestic. My hair is super slick. I am gonna parry your dick. Okay, well, not that dick. Do you think Margaret's dick looks like the, uh, like the stick he's carrying? Do you think his dick is covered in horns, too? What if it, what if, is there hair on his tail? Do you have a hairy tail? I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever realized. I would love to get a bleed prop off. I guess that involves me not running away from him that much. Oh! Okay, so it's a dash, swing, swing. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> that's the song Swing 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 uh, for all of you big band aficionados out there. Uh, I'm glad to have you in, ch in chat. Oh, I didn't I didn't dodge. I didn't dodge. Did that... Did that actually parry? Yo, uh, sick. It did! Holy shit. You can parry his, like, running thrust attack. Okay, sick. Good. Alright, it's that sound. It's that sound. Children, stop, babe. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going round. Got him. Okay, controller. We've gotten this far. Don't. Stop working. I believe in you. Smack. Hmm. Ah! 
My runes stared defiantly up at the face of Margaret. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, shit. There was a new one. There was a new loading screen tip, and I, I skipped right past it because I was so eager. Well, we'll get it eventually, right? One, two, three, four. Get out of here. <laughs> Hitless run incoming. Never mind. Oh. That, that super long two-handed downward strike. Is it possible? Did you do the hero grave in Mount Gelmir? We have not done the hero grave in Mount Gelmir. Um, get out of here. If I had nailed some of those parries. Okay, I believe I've caught up to your progress. Okay, okay. Excellent. Uh, if you want to um, do more Volcano Manor invasions, contracts, since we can't do those together anyway, I guess we can do them simultaneously still. Did them all? Oh, nice. Okay. Sick. Ow. <laughs> Next is in Lindell, locked behind progress. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, I was hoping that we could get to the capital today, but I mean, this is just something you have to deal with. With I'm, I'm so used to it from dealing with free and open source software like uh, the video editing software that I use, which is called Shotcut. <laughs> Take that, you jerk. Uh, updates pretty much like all the time. I don't think there's a day that I don't open Shotcut. And it's like, you're up to date. Which is honestly awesome. Oh! Off the edge. I'd so want to know if you can parry that stab. I just... He just usually hits you before he stabs, and I, I, I can't... <gasps> New loading screen. I just can't. I can't even. Well, uh, I am currently on this boss retreat. Uh, but if you wanted to get on a Discord call and critique critique my bossing. I would not be opposed. Nice. Nice. All right. I have to admit we're getting better, a little better all the time. Oh, and there's the blood loss, too. Is this the phase change? Yes, it is. Thou art of passing skill. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. Tarnished. 
At least, at least he still does his follow ups correctly. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, first time to phase two. Not bad. So if we can get... You're on Discord now? Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Talk to me, Dolu. Hey, boss, what's up? How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> Hi, Dolu. Uh, boss, the realm shift has got us hanging. It has. What a, what a, what a tragedy. Ah! Yeah, I see you have joined the training simulator, boss. Yeah, I'm on my uh, corporate retreat. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing what? I'm learning learning from the boss I'm learning how to be a boss from the boss oh yeah corporate training said the best foolish ambitions to rest <laughs> yeah these things happen especially yeah. especially with with projects that are being supported by small creators and of course yeah as as a, as a small creator I must be respectful Oh, sure. So how's your parries coming up, boss? Well, I'm getting the hang of the timings, but he's... He's just so... variable. Like, mm -hmm. I, I guess it's hard to realize how many moves these Dark Souls guys I mean, Elden Ring guys, or whatever. Have. <laughs> until you until you have to learn them all. Like, for real, learn them all. Crap. You don't want to summon a cooperator or anything, boss? Well... I've thought about it. Give me the bleed. No bleed. But... Wouldn't that, like, divide his attention and make it even harder to parry? Oh, so you're doing the parry thing? Yeah. We're just going for pure parryability. Oh, that was a good one. Hell yeah. Okay. Starting it. Starting to feel it, Mr. Krabs. You got this, boss. I feel like for the second phase, you just kind of like gotta wait for the first phase moves, right? Yeah, probably, boss. I mean, just gotta see how he he gotta repeat some of them, like this one. I don't even know if I can parry that one. I know I can parry this one. Double hand. Ah, crap. He always follows up a parry with a, another parryable move. Ah. Almost like giving you a chance to parry him. Is he? Is he a tsundere? Does he actually like me? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Normally, all the ones who give me really hard time normally end up liking you in the first place, so... <laughs> like, why would he go through all that trouble? If he didn't really like yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Is that how it is with you, Dolu? You give me a hard time. But it's because, all, boss. because you really it's like really... me. <laughs> I love you, boss. But uh, I don't give you a hard time, boss. Sorry. Very bad you feel any time like that. Oh, the tail. Uh... You're probably watching this on, there we go, on a bit of a delay, right? Yes, oh, boss. yes. I guess I, he did the, he did the two parry thing, but I guess I don't have the uh, uh, timing for that. 
When he swings to the right, my right, my, uh, his right, I can parry him. But when he swings to the left, I don't quite have that timing down. Hmm. Right, can't, can't parry that. You just took it. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done a lot of uh, game modding in your in your time, Dolo? Uh, only with Minecraft boss, and I ended up frying my powers unit. So quite after. That. Yeah, I don't really have that one down. You fried your you fried your power unit trying to mod Minecraft. Yes. I'm trying to use Minecraft mods and all. If you're asking me to actually mod a content, like uh -huh. really, like like create the mod. Uh, only once, boss. There was this game called Command and Conquer Generals. I don't know if you heard about it. I've heard of the it series. I don't know if I've ever. I know that game specifically. Yes, th that was like that was a game. I was really curious on one time of my time. Uh, and uh, that's what I wanted once. I Oof. added a couple of my own sprites to it. Uh, oh, some voice overs. That's cool, though. That's cool. Yeah. Did that's you, only one time, boss. Did you create the sprites yourself? Yes, boss. <gasps> On paint. Is it? Oh, uh, that's a big guy. Oh, this is the one boss I was talking about. The Iron uh, Casket Beast. Iron Casket Beast. I'm sure they have a, a name, but yes. Uh, are you sure you mean casket? Or basket? Not really, I couldn't find the word. Basket. Basket, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. A bas basket is like, uh, isn't casket like a coat or something? <laughs> a casket is a coffin. A casket is a coffin? A casket is a coffin. Oh, then, uh, fuck it. A basket, <laughs> yeah, I know those. Yeah, iron basket is is it's probably what I would call you, it. It's one of those baskets really which you use to burn wood, you know? Oh, um, yes, you're right. A brazier. I don't know what you... Brazier? Uh, yes, Brazier. Yeah, Brazier. Yeah. It's a Brazier then. Iron Brazier Beast. Iron br yeah, Iron Bra Beast. Brazier Beast. I felt like that was a pretty good parry, but I don't know if I can even parry that attack. Have you, uh. Oh, man. Have you seen the new loading? Have you seen the new loading screen tips yet? That's where I saw that iron brazier basket boss. Oh wait. I'm doing jump attacks with a dagger. It's probably not very productive. <laughs> oh, too early. Yeah, mostly. There we go. Yeah, when he swings, when he does his follow-up swing to the right, I can get him. Follow-up swing to the right. To the right. Uh, to the left. Am I am I too early or too late on the left? I wonder. Uh. Actually, Buckler does give you a long window. So, it's probably late. Uh, that's true. That's a good point. If I'm going to... If I'm going to parry, it's probably because it's... If, I'm, if I fail to parry, it's probably because I started to... Late. Yeah, because I felt yes. like I did that one pretty early, but I got the parry. Yeah, because Buckler does give you a big window, so early is not really a thing. It's like... Warrior blood must be 
Not that early. And <laughs> all that early. No, 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 no. Wait, how did your controller resume? These what? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Your controller resume. I don't know. It might actually not be the controller. It might be the USB port. Oh, new loading screen. What is? Chips. Spears. Boat. Another golden <laughs> stuff. Lots of golden stuff. Lots of gold boats, stuff. yeah, boats. Lot, uh, they're the castle boats, boats in a castle. It must be like a, a, a dock or something. Boats in the castle. <laughs> Fire in the sky. Fire. In the sky. Whoa, you can get two hits in on him in between parries. That's pretty sick. Yeah, okay. I, I felt like I parried that one a little early as well, but I got the parry. So I, I, I need to start parrying earlier. Yeah, that shoots to rest. I want to, I kind of want to check out. Dolu, assignment. Yes, sir. Uh, assignment, uh, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> go go in the patch notes or find someone's analysis of the patch notes and see if they actually did change the the parry frames on the buckler okay i i think i remember seeing that uh... yeah i don't know i don't know if you can actually parry that Overhand double hand. Overhead double hand slam. <gasps> yeah, what is this? This looks like a a church or a throne room. It's cool that the DLC added so many new areas. Apparently it's a very large DLC. Uh, they say it's a whole game in itself. I should hope so. It's fucking forty dollars. Got him. Now I am actually concerned about trying to get him a PC or should I get him a PlayStation? Oh, good call. Um. Well, it would be cool to do the. Uh, Oh, the tail. It would be cool to do the DLC in our our boss uh, run. Although that means we'll be doing more than 238 bosses. Oh, that's true. That is very true. Also, that would be like a full nascent experience of uh, game, right? Is that a, it's going to be a whole new world. <gasps> a whole new world. Don't sing Disney on stream. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're... I mean, we are, what is it, over halfway? Do you have to there have a certain- any recent patch notes for any changes to the buckle carry, sir? No? There we go. Okay, a little earlier, a little earlier. I could probably go even earlier. <laughs> now that's what I call parrying. Are you gonna do it? Okay. That's a pretty early phase two. Yo, okay. One, two, three, four. That was a tough one. So no changes to Buckler Parry. I thought I saw some parry changes, though. Like, maybe to the parry spells or something. Mm. Control F. 
parry. Oh, way too early. Way too rolly. Way too stabby. I, I'm not sure you can parry that stab attack. Item crafting kit, strengthening spirits, mounted attacks, jump. I wonder if, you know, I'm sure they have, because the Chi Engine stuff is like all over the place. I remember the time that they actually I mentioned it, like a month ago or something. Well, I tried to dodge that time, but obviously I hit the button a little late. He's got such a hairy ass. Um. Uh, oh, this is activated summoning pools. Activated summoning pools will be carried over into subsequent playthroughs. I remember that as well. Where exactly do you get to the DLC voice? Uh, you have to beat Mog. Give me a chance, bro. Thank you. Actually, I think I think I've heard you have to beat Mog and Radon. So we've already interviewed Radon. Oof. Uh, there are some of these overhand strikes that I'm not sure you can parry. <gasps> Dragon sleeping at the base of a mountain. I don't think I've ever used the summoning pools. Have you ever used the summoning pools? Co-op. Yeah, when I did a co-op from uh, for, uh, with Shapara or Luna. Ah, crap. I'm still used to the old way of doing it. First things first, we gotta kill this guy. Parrying. Do you think the, the loading screen tip will give me some insight into parrying that will help me here? RNG boss, RNG. <laughs> if you keep hitting the loading screen tips button, eventually it'll tell you all of his moves. Hey, well, that was good. Ah, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -ba -da. Ah, no, no phase transition yet. Okay, you can't parry that one. Hell yeah. Knock him off the cliff. Okay, he's definitely gonna phase transition now, right? Surely. Yep. Thou art of passing Got him. Warrior blood must truly run in Put these foolish ambitions to rest. We basically have to relearn the boss. <laughs> Honestly, it's every time. <laughs> Man, this corporate retreat is intense. I feel like I'm dying and being reborn over and over and over again. You know, actually, speaking of retreat sort of stuff, 
I uh, recently discovered that there is a Shaolin temple in Germany. Oh, and what? Ah, oh, crap, I missed my window. Okay. Yeah, so, so you can sign up for like, they do like weekends or weeks. So you can do a three day weekend or like a six day week. So single or double, essentially. And you go into this monastery. I don't know if you can bury that. You go into this monastery, you eat simply, you, you know, sleep on, uh, you know, piece of wood or whatever, right? And you learn martial arts. Wow. Doesn't that sound cool? It sounds really cool, sir. I've heard of I've heard of uh, kind of people doing things like yoga retreats as well. Are you going to do that one sometime? I'm thinking about it. I mean, it costs money, of course. Got to support your local Shaolin temple. Uh, <laughs> but maybe maybe I can do that and I can come back and be all like, mm, yes, it's it, why is it gone zoo now? Thank you very much. <laughs> I've gained the I've gained the w w wisdom of the of the ancient arts. Hmm. It would be fun, I guess. If you're age shallow enough. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't last three days there. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel as well. Uh, I was listening to a... Uh... Unless, like, I'm really motivated about something. Oh, come on. I was listening to a podcast where... Uh, <laughs> and then you can sell the wise arts for profit. That's right. You, you may have uh, commissioned music, but... Is it wise music? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, the Shaolin monks are already selling the wise arts for profit. I will repackage their wisdom for the Internet. <laughs> They're still in the temple based economy. They don't know what's they don't know how to. Uh, ow, ow, honestly, OK. Give me a parry, bro. Give me a parry. I have to say, I don't think I've run out of flasks yet. <laughs> uh, and it has not, has not yet been a run where the flask limit was uh, a problem. Uh, anyway, I was watching. I was listening to this podcast where this guy went on a three-year uh, silent retreat. Three-year silent retreat. Where? Yeah. I don't know where, but no talking for three years. Did he go with his wife? <laughs> I don't think he was married. <gasps> scattered tree blessings. Consume scattered tree fragments of sight of grace to bolster your scattered tree blessing. The sca God damn it. Okay, we'll have to find that loading screen tip again. This is the true challenge of today's run is finding the new loading screen tips and reading them on stream. Hit me. Or don't. Oh, let's wait. Whoa. -ho. Well, that wasn't very fair. I couldn't even see him. We got to pay attention to the trees. So you increase the price to compensate and make it more accessible. Easy. Give me a new loading screen tip. I want to learn more about Skadoo Skadoo. I want to learn about Scooby Dooby Doo tree fragments. Sc 
Skidoo tell Skidoo feels like uh, something a scat guy would say, like right as he started scatting. Skadoo? Yeah. Skadoobadoobadoo. Oh, <laughs> what is this little like quick quick turn? I haven't seen that one yet. Ooh, it looks like there's a divine tower over there in the background of that one. But the guy was talking on this retreat. You can't just like do a three-year silent retreat, like. Apropos of nothing, right? You have to build up to it. Where's my timing gone? Where's my where's my power? It's actually important that we beat uh, Margit because um, the Misericord is behind Margit, right? <laughs> Got to get that boosted critical. Yeah. But is it really that important? I mean, we could do other stuff first. These foolish ambitions to <laughs> But why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this movie called um, Fury, sir? Fury. Uh, is it about Nick, Brad Pitt. Nick Fury? No, Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. It's a tank movie. A tank movie? It's about tanks? About a tank. I mean, a crew and a tank. Oh, I thought I got Trying that one. Trying to go through a war. Uh, I don't think I ever have. Have a look see spots whenever I mean, you find time. Cool. Interesting. Yuri. I've seen like uh not less like not less than like nine to nine to ten times now. I play movie. Every really? Couple of months you end up watching it here. Is it uh one of your current favorites? That's cool. I, uh... But, but like, favorite, favorite, like, uh, it's a good movie. I, I can always want to get it. Foolish ambitions to rest. He did the quick turn, and apparently so you, okay. you can't parry it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> there's what? There's what? Worm. What is that? I was thinking, I was meaning to ask you, is there a movie for you that you always, like, uh, keep watching again, again, again? Uh, it's pretty rare for me. I enjoy playing video games over and over again, but movies and TV shows, I'm usually one and done. That said, I do watch the movie Elf every Christmas without fail. Oh, for Christmas, it's for me, it is uh, Polar Express. Polar Express. Yes. That's cool. I remember when that movie came out, people were a little, uh, I don't know, creeped out by the, the CG. Really? Uh, Why? Yeah, man. I don't know. I, I haven't actually seen Polar Express myself. Maybe it's a Uncanny Valley sort of thing. People thought it didn't look right. Get out of here. I need this guy to like jump off at some point. Ow. Just for fun. There we go. <laughs> Have you ever considered skydiving? Gosh, I wish my weight category allowed. Oh. 
I didn't realize that was a thing, but that makes sense. I have, I have uh, considered it, but the people who actually gave the give the training and all, they considered not to. Uh. For my own safety, they say. I mean, I understand, you know, yeah. like one of the things that I think people have kind of lost in the recent years of the Internet is respect for experts, you know, yes. Ah, crap. Um, because your brain kind of treats text all the same, no matter where it comes from. And you see people's opinions in text alongside facts, right? And you have to think critically in order to uh, differentiate them. Yes. Oh, come on. Give me a, just give me a, a chance here, bro. Just give me a chance. There we go. Hmm. There we go. And of course you can call an expert's credentials into question. Like, I'm not saying that experts are infallible. But... Is... A lot of people have been gaining knowledge in the expertise certificates without actually studying it all. That's yeah. sometimes worrisome. That's yeah. The, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing, you know, sir. The thing is, people claim to be experts when they're not. You know? And yep. that's, that, yep. that causes harm to the mob instead of uh, doing good. Absolutely. So the, the good ones get hurt in the process. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the thing, boss. Unfortunately, people are... Okay, I can only do one... I can only do one attack in between his parries, because if he parries to the left, then uh, I need the time. Are you not missing your, uh, what do you call that? Jellyfish boss? <laughs> I actually do have the jellyfish, but I don't have the, the bell. <laughs> Give me a parry. He gave it to me, but I didn't take it. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I think that, um, you know, people see the world from their point of view, right? And so they assume that if things are getting better for them, then things are getting better overall, right? And some people see that if they claim to have expertise or if they claim to, uh, you know, be skilled at something, uh, they can get people to believe them even without that actual knowledge. And they then, oh, that quick turn is so quick. They see, they see things getting better for them. Um, <gasps> Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. Consume Revered Spirit Ash. God damn it. What's that? Is, is a new a new loading screen tip. Ooh. Revered, what the Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. It's a consumable. I think it said you consume it at a bonfire. Yeah, see, I can't do two attacks in between. These Bruh. Ambitions to rest. Like, these charlatans see 
them see things getting better for themselves. And so they assume that this is the correct way to do things. Like people do what works, not what's morally correct. Yeah. More uh, than morality. Uh, morality has lost meaning, sir. Well, it has, it has, but it never really had meaning because morals are always, you know, relative to the situation, relative to the person. But I think the fact that there are some kind of fundamental truths at the heart of every culture, like fairness and, you know, don't steal things and don't kill people, right? Oh, that was lucky. Um, you know, morality is relative, but there are certain parts of morality that are not relative. These foolish really? All the way over there? Okay. And lying is a big, a big one of those. Like every, <laughs> every culture that's ever existed had said, don't lie, right? Represent reality, yeah. represent reality accurately with your words, please. And I think the, I think the problem is that, uh, uh, People who feel like lying is okay, you know, have not been taught the importance of community and culture in that way, right? They say, like, the benefit of others? Yeah, it's all right, I guess. Tell me your thoughts, Seven. I, I was, I was a little guy. We all a little, right? At some time. Of course. And there were, uh, there were situations where we used to be taught. What do we call them? Moral sciences. And they'd be telling us always look left, right, and left before crossing traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always speak, always speak the truth. Play by the good side. Don't be the bad guy. All right? And then, through the course of time, when we go up in grades, teachers themselves forget those things. Well, <laughs> they forget that they have evaluated us, that examination stuff, and given us marks based on that. Very subjects they wanted to teach us, you know. And then they tell us that no, the world doesn't work like this. So what the heck do I Why was I taught in the first place? Why wasn't I why wasn't I taught about how the world's supposed to operate in the first place? Does I have one hit point currently and I'm out of flasks. <laughs> Oh, sorry, boss. And he just changed phases. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, well, I got a bleed off before I died. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that there's. I think that there's kind of a. Um, then we grow up and find a good villain compelling. So true. So true, though. Um. I think that there's the friction there is that. Uh, I mean, think about it like like computer stuff, right? When you start learning like how to build a computer, they tell you things like, you know, always ground yourself, always connect things where the manual says to connect them, uh, you know, always use this amount of, of thermal paste and connect this here and connect that there, right? True, boss. But then later on, they say, like, you know, there are different kinds of thermal paste and you can hack your computer and 
overclock things and try to like find new and, and different ways to do things. <laughs> you can break the rules for fun. But I think I think that was confuses me, boss. Yeah. And then they show us movies, and then they show us movies. who are very righteous, you know, righteous movies. King Arthur, be the King Arthur, okay, or or be Superman, be Spider Man, and then... yeah. Be? But then then we see people breaking the rules as villains and potentially getting what they want, right? Ah, yes. Kids only see things as good and bad. Over time, as their brains develop, we see things as more gray. Yeah, I think I think the thing is like when you're young, they're preparing you for, uh, you know, they're preparing you to know right from wrong. But when you get older, they're trying to prepare you for, you know, not everybody does right or wrong in the world. you have to be prepared you have to be prepared to accept that there are people who are quote unquote like bad guys how because you know like there are people who i disagree with about stuff that i'm friends with and I can't just say, like, they're good guys or bad guys, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm starting to feel the limits of the flasks. <laughs> Crundle says it was, like, three years ago when he did this stuff. When you, when you learned that the world is morally gray? Uh, you graduated from, from high school three years ago. Eventually, you got to learn to think on your feet. It's true. And I think I think some teachers kind of take that message too far to heart. You know, like <laughs> like like kindergarten. Kindergarten teachers are some of the sweetest and patient, patientest people in the world because you have to be. Right? You have to be a good example for the children. Hi. But then when you get into older grades, a lot of teachers are like, well, the world's not fair, so I'm not going to be fair. And that's just stupid. Child psychology stuff. It's a bit of a story while I was studying. Oh. That's cool. Too early, too early. I'm starting to actually parry too early. <laughs> As opposed to like trying to parry on time and being late. <sighs> yeah, I think that people, especially teachers, teach the world as they know it, you know, and they're old enough to see the world is unfair, right? But I always thought that was a shitty excuse, right? Like, if I'm a teacher, I can teach my students that the world is unfair without being unfair, you know? I'm thinking, teachers, uh, if you see their words, sir, teacher is the one who teaches, right? Yep. But yep. Right, I feel now it's only teachers, the person who makes you complete your syllabus. <laughs> that's so true the uh 
it's it's just the focus on getting past the test at these point at this point. It's yeah. so so rare you get an actual teacher. <laughs> when I where I was, I didn't offer what I needed directly to move on. So I ended up in this health and interpersonal relations class and it touched on a lot of things. Uh -huh. Damn dude. That sounds like a class that everybody should take. Health and Health and inter oh. health and interpersonal relationships. All such classes don't exist. Only math, chemistry, biology, uh, physical education, uh, or uh, off the edge with you. Dance, art and craft. Dance, though, dance is a pretty cool class. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, got him. Uh. Do you like dancing? A lobster. Oh yeah. That's, That's actually one of my reasons going to Thailand. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Thai music. I'm in the clubs. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm in the clubs, the local beats and all, and I dance. Thai music is pretty sick. Wait. When I was in college, we had. Uh, a set of classes called cultural music classes where music. yeah because because I went to music school so we learned a lot of Western music so um, you know Beethoven and uh, Stravinsky all the all the big classical music composers Ooh, but okay. They said, you need to pick one of these classes and take take the class so that you know a little bit about music from another culture. And being the weeb that I am, I took the Japanese music class. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. But when you know, you know. Yeah, okay. but they had, they had, um... A bunch of different classes, and I know one of them was uh, Javanese Gamelon. Okay. Uh, but also, uh, through those classes, I met a percussionist who was Ooh. who was taking lessons on tabla, tabla drums. Oh, tabla! Yes, tabla, of course. And I decided that I wanted to do that too, so I took. A tabla course. Awesome. Uh, I learned the basics of tabla drums. Of course, I I, I I always used the teacher's drums. I never uh, got my own because they're expensive as hell. But it was super <laughs> cool. It was super cool to learn about it, and I still uh, listen to the music every once in a while and know a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. It's so. Ow. Amazing. How about this? When I visit you one time in Germany, I'll bring you one of Thomas <gasps> with you. Oh <laughs> my god. That would be insane. It's, I would love that so much. They're like really, really cheap here. <laughs> of course they are. That would be insane. <laughs> We're going into the Tabla era of music, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you. So, all right, here's my painting gift to you, then. Here's my pandem gift. <laughs> Uh, Crendel says, you did communication, mental health, morals, ethics, and legislation, and a few other classes that you slept through, but you were aiming for radiography. Yeah. I mean, this is this is kind of a symptom of what Dolu and I were talking about, right? People go to college to get a specific degree, and then you find out that actually you just need to do courses to fill out your uh, degree program. You're not actually doing courses that contribute to what you want to learn. He's so fast with that knife. But honestly, I do think communication, mental health, morals, ethics, and legislation as well as help in interpersonal relationships. Are you gonna pull out your hammer? There we go. Passing 
And I'm out of class. Truly run in thy veins. So we've gotta we gotta start getting through the first phase with more flash. I can't I can't be dying so quick in the second phase and then uh, I have no time to practice, right? <laughs> well, if you ask me, boss, uh, if you wanna go through this berry business, you might as well think about not using the flask in the first place. Uh uh, you're right, you're right, that's true. I just gotta get so do a no hit. Do the no hit, get good. There we go. No hit. Get good. on the parry and suffered. Absolutely punished. Um, Crundle, are you actually certified for being a radiographer? That's pretty cool. That's, I believe that is a person who does x-rays. Actually, uh, I believe my father-in-law has... That's a radiologist. That's a radiologist. Oh, oh, you're right. He's talking about radiography, not radiology. Yeah. What is radiography? Awesome. I guess we'll have to ask Crundle. <laughs> so, Crundle, what is radiography? Seems like the study of radios, right? It's the same thing? Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> it's a competitive course, and I was off the grade by 1%, but was whitelisted. Oh, so you were, you were like just taking classes while you were waiting to be accepted into the course. Dang. Oh, Scantry Blessing bolters the recipient's abilities to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the realm of shadow. The, the Scattery Tree Blessing bolsters its recipient's ability to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the land of shadow. So Is that there's a land of shadow now? I think the Land of Shadow is where the DLC is. Is it saying that there's like a new level up system in the DLC, essentially? Speaking of that, boss, can we resume our debate about PlayStation or PC? Oh, yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it would be cool to do the DLC together, but I know that you're probably more interested in playing it on the PlayStation, right? That is not the case here. No? I think is, um, the way we see things moving now, uh, it's gonna take about two more months of our time to finish up the game base, if I'm not mistaken. What do you say? Is that do you does no. this probable? Passing skill. Um, blood must truly Tarnish. Yeah, probably. Although I imagine I imagine that as we upgrade our stuff and unlock areas the uh The number of bosses we defeat will, will like increase, you know. We'll we'll go through them quicker. Right. So you would take too much, right? Off the edge with you! Oh my god, am I doing it? Nope, he can't fall off the edge. If he if he didn't do it there, then he's not it's not happening.
Woo! Okay, see, this is this is what I'm saying. I needed more. I needed more flasks to practice with, and now I'm getting the practice. Rigged. Totally rigged. I don't know if you can parry that one, but I'm not gonna try. Uh, that was my best run yet. There were classes I needed to take, mainly math and writing. I failed them in high school. Ah. Crendel is a, uh, what is there? Math, writing, science. Crendel's a science guy. Crendel mm. Nye, the science guy. What's your, uh, show me your, uh, have you moved all your flask count to HP, boss? I have. I have. Uh... Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Put these foolish ah! You know, normal, normal Margaret, the fellow man, behavior. I <laughs> just miss all the parries. <sighs> what's the what's the what's the issue with with uh? PlayStation versus PC. Oh yeah. So thing is, um, after August, probably, I might have to, you know, look forward to my son's adventure. and there will be lots of uh, moving around. Oh right, right, right. So Should, what you're saying? Like September will be September will be totally no for me. What you're saying, and what you're saying is essentially, yeah, I'm, I'm also going to be traveling in August and September or taking streams yeah. off because I have family in. Uh, and then so, what are my chances of motivating you to buy a PlayStation for that time? <laughs> That's a good question, actually, because, yeah. you know, and we've been dealing. Me, you would, love, you would love it, sir. Trust me on that. Really. We've we've been dealing with a lot of computer issues. Yes. Yeah. Frame rate drops and stuff like that. Uh. So, Unless you're like anti Tony or something. Well. I was thinking about that recently because because there was the whole thing with um, Hell Divers 2, right? What about it? So Hell Divers 2. Come on. There we go. Hell Divers 2 was released on Steam and PlayStation. Okay. And it became an extremely popular game. Uh, but then Sony was like, we need you to sign up for the PlayStation Network and people were very upset. I don't know. I'm always more suspicious of, of big gaming companies in general. I'm not I'm not explicitly anti Sony any more than I am anti Microsoft, but I, I, I run Windows because you got to run Windows to play Elden Ring, I guess. All right, two flasks remaining. One flask remaining. Well, I'm learning how to dodge that attack at least. I think I see what you're saying. No matter how, unless we start doing like all Elden Ring all the time, yeah. I don't think we're gonna get to the DLC before. Uh, 
before our, our big break, you know? Yes! <sighs> That's a thinker. What? Well, well, okay. Let's assume that, you know, I'm willing, I'm up for anything. What's, what's your preference? Uh, PlayStation. Your preference is... Well, so your preference is that... No seamless cloth on PlayStation in the first place. Oh right. Okay, that makes sense. I was also I was I was, I was just thinking like wouldn't we lose our progress? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. I mean, all right. That's a good point. Yeah. I wonder if I wonder if they'll do something like seamless co-op officially eventually. Probably not for Elden Ring. But maybe for, uh, maybe for whatever they do next. God, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to top Elden Ring, though. Doesn't feel like this is the last game. Doesn't feel like this is the biggest thing they can do. Uh, admittedly, I haven't played Armored Core 6. Armored horse. Okay, sure, sure. Isaac, here's the thing. If it's Elden Ring only, okay, and uh, if you feel like you can go committed on this long term, then definitely PC. But playing experience on uh, uh, this thing, what do you call PlayStation, is hard. There's no limit for graphics things, there's no worrisome matters on uh, performance or anything. Unless you are a person who is worried about FPS, like you strictly play, play 60, you really play, strictly play 60 FPS, uh, that might be a problem. Because yeah. some games might not be on 120, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, unless that's the thing. I'm not. I'm not particularly a graphics person. So, so here's the thing, sir. The thing. The problem. The thing is, I have. It's been. It's been a year and a half now. Moved to uh, PlayStation, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I have not missed PC. <laughs> well, what about the button layouts? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> button layout. <laughs> Honestly, the reason that I got an Xbox controller instead of a PlayStation controller is just because I I grew up with Xbox. So. Uh, uh, in my personal preferencing zone, um, I could play two hours more on PlayStation controller than an Xbox. I wasn't even thinking about comfort. <laughs> Alright, so I feel like I have to give him a little bit more space in phase two. I don't know, I, I like the, uh... You know, the original Xbox controllers were ridiculously huge. Yep. But, uh, I like the, I like the the S controllers, the small controllers, which are now just the normal Xbox controllers. I don't know what they were thinking with those original controllers. We will make games for giants. That's what they were thinking. We're, we're the adult console, so we... 
make controllers for adult sized hands. No, bruh. Getting through phase one. Make Dark Souls 2 good. Yes. Time for Dark Souls 2 2. The Dark Souls 2 in That's what I want. Okay. Question for you, sir. Yes. What makes you think otherwise? Yes, PlayStation. Like, what's your uh, what's your thought about it? Uh, well, my main no, problem is let's put, let's just one of yeah. yeah. My main problem is one of price, right? Uh, let's just put it way once. No, I'm actually. Fucking hell. Uh. <laughs> That was such a good run, but, you know, got me. He got me. Uh, so I actually am pretty in favor of the PlayStation uh, because it's got exclusive games that I would really like to play, like Bloodborne. Honestly, if I got a PlayStation, it would be like, <laughs> it stop everything. It's Bloodborne time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I the way that I see see these things right now is like I'm on a Windows device. We have a Nintendo Switch. You know, I have an Android phone. I have a a Twitch account. I have a I still have a Twitter account, even though. Society. Yeah, it's like uh, I have problems with society. <laughs> <laughs> of the consoles, well, I mean, we have a we have a Nintendo Switch, so I can't really say that I have problems with Nintendo Switch. I have problems with Nintendo. Get parried, idiot. Yeah, I would say I would say of the consoles, Xbox or PlayStation, I'd probably rather do PlayStation just because I'd rather play Bloodborne. And I have a Windows PC. Uh, that's basically like having an Xbox already. I can access all the Xbox games, right? That is true. But the Xbox Pass. I think you should consider it. It is, it is a consideration in my mind. It really is just a thing of price. I agree. Uh, just, uh, oh, so here's the thing. PlayStation Slim has come up. PlayStation Slim? Yeah, I think some form of a pro or something, some, um, some next level version has come up, uh, which has, has allowed uh, the previous version prices to go down a bit. Interesting. So fives are a little cheaper now. Cause cause that's the thing, right? I know that the the, the two games I would want to play are Bloodborne and Demon Souls, right? And and they're both on five, but Bloodborne is only only Bloodborne is on four and only Demon Souls is on three, right? Oh. I believe that is how it works. No, no, I'm not talking about PlayStation 4, sir. I'm talking about the previous iteration of PS5s only. Oh, uh, they've gone down in price, hopefully, soon. Uh, I mean, so there is a new, how do I say this, an upgrade model of PS5? Yeah. Compared to first release. Um, oh. So the, the new release is overpricing, and I believe the, up, the the one that was previously there would be lower. I, I'm offended by beauty. I understand what you're saying, though. 
All right, so so what we want is a first gen PS5. Yes. Used. Why used? Because it's cheaper. Used is cheaper? Uh, generally. Okay. Used. I'm starting to get the rhythm. All right, hammer time. All I need is a rhythm divine. I don't know if I, I know that song. Your heart with the Enrique Iglesias, I believe. Ooh, nice. Demon Souls Remastered is on five. Yeah, here's a question for you, Dolu. Can I play Blood? Can I play Bloodborne on PS5? Of course. I still want to know. I still want to know if you can parry that stab attack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can play Bloodborne on PS5, sir. You can? Okay. Yes. Is Armored Armored Core is available on PS and PC, right? That I do not know. The PS4 library is backwards compatible. Give me a parry. Not that. I will take the opportunity to smack your butt a few times, though. These foolish ambitions to rest. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting. Oh, Reverend Spring Ash bolsters both some experience and special suits ability to deal and gain damage, but has no influence. Oh. Okay. So. Dolo, assignment. Yes. What is a Skadu Tree blessing and a Reverend Spirit Ash? They're DLC concepts. Okay, boss. Look it up. It's fighting a giant here. Hang on. Yo, Dresden. Holy shit, it has been a while. How's it going? Welcome back, and thank you for the bits. How have you been? Uh, I don't even know if you know Dolu. This is my good friend slash henchman slash employee Dolu. Uh, we're doing, we're, we're nominally, we're doing the co-op mod together, uh, but nice. That's a tough fairy. Uh, nominally, we're doing the co-op mod together, but the co-op mod is currently broken. about river river spirit at lesson yeah that one you're refitting your it stream says, uh, it's a blessing that affects how much damage your spirit ashes can deal or negate so there really is a different leveling system in the dlc huh so practically you can level up uh your ashes as well. Oh come on. 
New model, new emotes, new layout. Let's go. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah, uh, sure, Justin. Ellen. Killing it. All right, we're out of flasks. Uh. Oh, the spinning attack. The phase two spinning attack. Ouch. Here, let me, uh... Let me do a shout out. Shout out. Dresden. Position I was trying to keep up. Zero one D. Is that you? Followed. I hope that's you. <laughs> I think it's spelled that. It'd be weird if there was someone with a slightly different spelling. Uh, but that's awesome. New model, huh? Are you are you making it yourself, or uh, are you commissioning an artist? We stand artist commissions. These foolish ambitions to Is that variable? He's mocking me. He's mocking me, Dolu. We've reached the point, and we've reached the humiliation segment of uh, this corporate retreat. <laughs> I boss, I see, I feel, I feel. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the the seamless co-op mod is currently uh, broken. So uh, I'm on a corporate retreat to increase my skills. I don't think you can parry that uh, stab. That was that was pretty much like a, a, a partial parry, but uh, didn't work. New employees, so they are making them ten times better than the old. Check whispers when you can. Uh, sure. Oh. Is this a thing? Give me just a second. What? What is happening here? Uh, I guess I can do this quicker this side. Uh, all right, your whisper is a good is a good question, and I am not sure of the answer. Um, let me a, a precursory search has returned no results is what I'm uh, going to say on stream, but yeah. I will answer your private question privately. <laughs> <laughs> private question here. Yeah, I mean, listen. Sometimes drama on the internet happens, and I think that the the right answer is to resolve it you know, privately and empathetically between be, between the relevant parties and not make a big drama deal out of it. 
right? True, 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 true. That is true, boss. There's already enough drama shit on the internet. But yeah, thank you for stopping in. I'm glad to hear that you are doing well and getting a new emote with the new employees. <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, if you give me about 45 minutes, uh, stream will be over and I can do some actual like searching and stuff to see what what the hell happened? Offline, you know. But thank you for bringing it to my attention. Hammer time. Hammer time. Unfortunately, I'm out of flasks. Will this be the, the no hit? Nope. It is not already not the no hit. Uh, phase two. But will it be the? Uh, Will it be the clutch phase two? It will not. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you. Yeah, of course. You know, the, the internet is full of people who are, uh, how shall we say this? We were talking a little earlier about, uh, the difference between like learning right and wrong as a kid and learning about morally gray stuff. And I think the people is the Internet is full of people in both of those realms. You know, there's people who have trouble dealing with the fact that the world is morally gray. And there's also people just finding out for the first time that the world is morally gray and abusing that fact. But the world, you know, you got to be kind and gray, right? And it's always good to get both perspectives, too. Absolutely. Um, I was talking to my friend, the Zarkon, on his stream the other day. And he was talking about how he's seen people posting like uh, checklists. Have you seen these, Solo? Streamer checklists? It's like um, it's like a, a sheet that says like here's what my streams are about. Here's the behaviors that I'm okay with on stream. Here are things that make me uncomfortable on stream, that sort of stuff, right? Mm. And Khan was lamenting the fact that people couldn't just like talk to each other about this sort of stuff, you know? Well, attention span issue, sir. True. People have got lots of attention span issues. They, they don't provide much attention to each other. Yeah. It's more or less like a. I see it as a, a, a disclaimer or an excuse to ban rather than a checklist. Because I posted it, it's your responsibility to read. Yeah. Now I will say, I will say that, um, like we were talking about, you know, with computer making, if you create a set of rules and then always follow the rules you're going to severely limit how much you can grow, right? Yeah. Like true, the... Very true. The it obvious... It has to be room for the ex experiments, you know? It has to be room for the unknown. Yeah, the most important... The most important law is what is the procedure to change the laws? You know? <laughs> but... Um, I guess the most important law is follow the laws. <laughs> uh, yeah, in this in this sort of situation, if you create a uh, uh, a list of behaviors that you're okay with on stream, you're never going to be exposed to behaviors that make you uncomfortable, and you're not going to learn how better to deal with them. 
Oh, I've got a good one for you, Sir Isaac. Hit me. If you be the mayor of your town, what changes would you do? The first. Ooh, if I was the mayor of Berlin. Yes. Gosh. Well, I think this is gonna betray my ignorance here. Uh, but I don't know enough about Berlin to recommend changes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not trying to bring up drama, just curious. Of course, I, I completely understand. It's a, it's a legitimate question. Uh, I'll just, I just, uh, you know, don't have, don't have the time to give you a proper answer. Oh, well, if it's like 3 a.m., I'll tell you what. Um, I can look you up on social media. If, yeah. Hence, I figured it was a good time to ask. Ah. <laughs> well, normally I stream until, I guess it would be... Oh, fuck. I forgot you have to twice. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, normally I'm a late night streamer. If you're on, the, if it's 3 a.m. for you, then you must be on the East Coast. Which means I usually stream until, I usually stream from 1 to 4 a.m. Your time zone. But for Dolu, your time, it's like, uh, morning like like morning to afternoon for me right yeah it's one in the noon at the moment about 10 minutes short oh right you're also on one and a half time zones half? what's a half time so at least in america um so right now it is 9.20 a.m. for me. Uh, uh, for you. Okay, for me, it's, uh, it's 12.15. That's 5.0. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, when I moved from America to Europe, all of my time zones shifted by six hours. Because I used to be in EST, and now I'm in uh, CEST. So instead of uh, Eastern Eastern Standard Time, it's Central European Standard Time. Whoa. Camera Does time. Does Berlin do uh, daylight saving? Oh, uh, I have a whole I have a whole fucking complaint about that. But yeah, uh, so I've only known time zones that change by the hour until we started hanging out, Dolu. And your time zones yeah. change by the half hour. So you're okay. you are two and a half hours ahead of me. Okay. And and I've never I've never seen a time zone that does that except for yours. What? Yeah. You'll be up till five a.m. Damn. We don't have time zones here. Like daylight savings time zones. We don't have daylight savings. To rest. That is yeah. And well, I'll, I'll I'll talk about daylight savings time in a, se in a second. Uh, cause it is annoying, even more annoying now that I'm living in Europe, but yeah, normally all the time zones that I've talked to people in are an even number of hours different. So like one hour, two hour, three hours, always a whole number, but you are two and a half hours different than me. You've got a half hour in there and I have no idea. I had no idea that was a thing. That's what I'm saying. The rare, the rare half, half zone. Okay, I know you can parry that. I've parried that before. Not that time of parry, you know. That one, I'm not sure you can parry. God. 
Um, daylight savings time, though. My daylight savings time story. So, America has daylight savings time and Europe has daylight savings time, right? But they do their daylight saving times on different days. You still there, Dolo? Yeah, boss. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um, I'm just fighting a giant for the past three uh, minutes. Not able to kill him. Oh, I see. We're we're doing uh, as opposed to co-op streams, we're doing simultaneous streams. Actually. Oh, I have an idea. This guy fails. I have an this idea. Yeah. Anyway, the the reason the daylight savings time is so annoying in Europe is because there's like three or four weeks of the year where I'm on a different daylight savings time than my American friends. Okay. So, all right, three flasks, no, phase two. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. And we had a, a parry already set up. Let's go! All right, keep some distance. That's the name of this game, because we don't want to get hit by the, the light sword. So when he gets in the hammer, Crap. I need to try to get behind him. All right, Dilu, I have an idea. I have an idea, and it might break my graphics card, but we're going to try it. Uh, okay, can you share? Are you playing on PC? I am. Can you share your screen? You want you? Oh, OK, sure. Uh, Discord. Share my screen. Oh. Uh, 720p, 30 FPS would be okay for you. Uh, yep, I brought it up. Okay. Let me pop pop that out. Uh, what is this window called? Thank goodness I have streamer safe mode on. No, that's not what I want, is it? I want this pop out screen. Okay, there we go. All right. We'll just, uh, we'll just throw this up here and then I can also put like. Oh, my miseries are not alive. Yeah. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. That's false crap. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't look at <laughs> Thank you, boys. <laughs> there we go. We got your very own Dolo cam. All right, now let's see if I can play Elden Ring while this runs. Nope. <laughs> oh, shit. Crap. Okay, can, can I, uh... What if I move this over here? Full screen it.
Did it work? Shit, I can't tell. <gasps> it works! Oh my god, this is such a janky setup. Okay. <laughs> Dolo Cam is online! Oh boy. Yeah. Will my graphics card be able to handle it? It should. I fixed a bunch of graphics settings that should should make things easier. Boy howdy. Woo, go Lucam! <laughs> you can watch watch Dolu do the other hardest part of Elden Ring, which is jumping puzzles on horse stuff. Hardcore is not my forte, boss. You know that, right? <laughs> uh, you know, same though. I have not. I've not. I, it's very rare that I have a 3D game that I'm actually good at jumping puzzles on, or even a 2D game. I'm not a very adept platformer. But, you know, I thought that that way about first person shooters as well. And then I played uh, super hot. Yeah, exactly. Dolu knows the lore, the, the Isaac Anzu video game lore. Yeah, he's here. Oh, yeah, of course. I can't believe you survived that fall. <laughs> yes. Now, this is the person. I don't know if you've seen this one before, boss. But this thing wasn't here before. But now it's... <laughs> it's whooping the... I don't mean... Oh, the... The magic guardian golem. Yeah. Not technically a boss. <laughs> but... Still, it's oh. extremely strong. Stronger than many bosses. Uh, Alright, phase two, no flasks. Right, Let's go. Minutes 40, minutes. 40, 40 minutes and I uh, be able to kill this one. In thy veins. I mean, that's what I'm hoping as well. These foolish ambitions to rest. That's what I'm hoping as well. Gotta stay out of out of range of his spams though. Okay. Hype for the Delu cam. Oh, crap. Good luck, Delu. I believe. Uh, I believe in the power. In the power of what, sir? In the power of Dolu. I have trained you well. I'm gonna try to stun him. I'm gonna try to stun him. One more. Oh, crap. Not this. Yeah. To rest. So it's 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 like <laughs> if he swings to the right, I can do two attacks and then parry. If he swings to the left, I can do one attack and then parry. <laughs> Come on, Dolu, you can do it. Oh, it does it again. Why does he keep doing this? Probably because it ah, works. Oh no, I'm I'm getting distracted. I'm watching Dolan Cam. Oh no! Oh, Crux! Such a uh, okay. <laughs> Laser. I, I want this ability. You know, see this ability, laser one. I I have seen that there are. Um, New incantations in the DLC. New spells and incantations. Is there a laser one? Have you fought this one before, boss? Um, I believe so. Not on my Isaac Bossu file.
Take that. Idiot. I wish I could bully him off the edge. That should be phase one. Indeed it is. Keep distance. Wait for him to do. Wait for him to do a stick attack. Like that. Like this. Yes. Okay. 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 You know, actually, this is a good strategy. Keep your distance, and when he does a big wind-up stick attack, use the wind-up to get into position. Smack. Don't get caught on the scenery. Very important. Woo, that was close. Woo, that was that was also extremely. To, to survive more than a single poke after the big big slam. <gasps> no! Oh, that could have been it. Ah. Alright. I have a strategy for the second phase. Now we just have to execute said strategy. How's Dolo doing? Still trying to stack. I am attacking. Still trying to stagger him. Those golems. I will once. Yeah, those golems take tons of damage oh, from being shit. staggered. Get, get the lasers. Come on, stagger. What do you think, Delu? When you die in these games, do you think it resets the timeline or do you think uh like is this the 40th time Morga has fought me? These foolish ambitions to Or is this like the first time that he believes he's fought me? Yeah. I think he's fought me like 40 uh... times. First, first time boss. Well, but he, uh, okay. So evidence, evidence four, right? Shit. Ah, crap. Ugh. I don't know, Delu. He never does his intro again, right? Mm -hmm. Brother. Oh, brother, you stink. Do you think Morgoth smells bad? I keep calling him Morgoth. I mean, yeah, he's... that's his name. I think he smells pretty bad, boss. Yeah. Uh, I don't see any water source around this place. He's in. There's no baiting for him for sure. Unless he uses soap. 
We have we have found soap in the lands between. Yes, we have. <coughs> Hammer. Run away. I didn't run away fast enough. Dying with flasks remaining. That's how you know. Uh, I, that's how you know I was going hard. The warrior's prowess. <laughs> you do realize, Pasta. <laughs> All the time is just getting ourselves killed over and over again. What a happy and productive stream. <laughs> <laughs> we must. Oh my goodness. We must. We must succeed, though. Yeah. We must. We must mm. overcome. All this is gonna go down. I wonder if I'd be able to do a redeem or a button. Okay. Where that does what, sir? So I have I have captions on my stream. Captions? Yeah. Okay. And I wonder if I'd be able to do a redeem where Like, you freeze the screen, which I believe you can do. You take a snapshot of the screen, you make it into like one of those motivational poster type. Oh. And then put okay. the words beneath. Oh boy. If I can't even get the, uh, if I can't even get the second parry, what am I doing? Trying? <laughs> what are we doing here? Why are we here? Just to suffer? Oh, yes. Pretty much. Like this say, uh, it makes you better. <laughs> You've seen people do that and you can't figure it out? So I feel like what you'd have. What am I thinking? Sorry, boss. You'd want to do it like. There we go. You want to do it um, one phase at a time, right? You know, phase one. Can I get my captions on the screen? Can I export them to a text file? That sort of thing. Phase two, can I freeze the screen and play a sound effect? Phase three, do it all together. Assign the button. Now, why didn't that? The screen is essentially a screenshot taken and displayed. Yeah. Second step is what, sir? Uh, so I have I have my um, captions. Wait, do I have my captions? Where's my captions? Thou art of passing skill. Why? Thank you. I also feel like I'm. Like, uh, passing skill. God. I was too close to him. I was also thinking like the Mark Collins with the screen freeze that the viewer can make the ending. Mmm. Why? Uh. I guess. You would just do it for like uh, a reaction moment, right? Memes. Memes is why. Oh, no, no, no. That why question was for something else. Sorry about that. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I often also ask myself why when I am fighting yes. bosses in Dark Souls. 
Yes, 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 yes. All those things was. <laughs> why? Why? So, why are you like this? No, no, your idea is great. So the thing is, um, so you get screenshot and tell me about the captions. What do you want to do with the captions? Uh, so we have the captions, um, which I think I have the captions. Okay. Let me, let How me... exactly do you mean by caption? Like you got a template or something? Let me check something. Uh, yeah, I have a captions tool. Oh, it's not enabled. Okay. Dude. I have a captions tool. It's enabled now. Yes. Uh, anyway, I have a captions tool, or at least I had a okay. captions tool before I upgraded my OBS. Maybe I should check on my captions tool. Okay. Uh, dear viewers, are there captions? Yes, it says off. Ah, uh, what happens to you? Either captions. Yeah, I see, sir. Okay, yes. So I have this captions tool. It's in OBS. I knew you could parry that. Get out of here. Um, yeah, what I would want to do is see if I can take that captions test. And instead of just putting it on Twitch as an overlay, you know, put it on stream as part of the stream. And then take a portion of those captions and like copy them onto the same freeze frame that the freeze framed image is on. I could just do the meme and have it like pause the video, zoom into the motivational poster, and make that say "come" because that's that's the entire meme. Take that, you jerk! You know. We impose these challenges on ourselves. Not because they're easy, but because they're hard. And it just makes it just makes that final victory all the sweeter, you know. Attack is so fun. Hmm, I may have dodged a bit too late there. Yeah, I had an idea. What was it? Well, I've added the the rotate me redame. Um. Ow. I had an idea for uh, a freeze frame meme a while back where it would it would freeze the frame and then slowly like move the frame around. Uh, okay. And turn it black and white while the the Giga Chad music played. <laughs> Giga Chad Isaac redeem. 
I see. Although it might be easier to just uh, make a a Giga Chad a Giga Chad meme of Isaac. Didn't I do that? I think I made a Giga Chad Isaac face. I'm almost certain I did. Just play that. Show computer. Show me the Giga Chad Isaac meme. Best memes. Honestly, the Giga Chat meme is such a great culmination of meme culture. Because you've got the uh, original pictures, which are already pretty hilarious. And then you've got uh, people's edits of the meme. And also the music. Oh, come on. If I'm if you're going to try to hit me, hit me. Warrior blood must truly run in my veins. Tarnished. Poke run. No. Do a big old stick attack. Do it. I believe in you. Oh god. Do a big old sick attack. Wrong, wrong attack. You're done. You're done. Yes, <laughs> boss. I'm done. He phase transitions. He's got a phase transition at like 60% health or something. It is. There's no way it is 50 or lower. These foolish ambitions to the rest. Damn. He just catches you so good with that. <laughs> uh, the Dolu cam is now becoming Dolu watching the stream. <laughs> guardian, Guardian Dolu. Wait, what am I thinking? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me feel any better. <laughs> oh yes. Under the watchful eye of Dolu, I I must succeed. <laughs> Can't look, can't look bad in front of Dolu. Oh no! <laughs> Missed two parries in a row. <laughs> Honestly, Marga is an insanely good first boss. Your caption said, Mrs. Two carries around the world. I, 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 I will carry this guy around the world if that's what it takes. <laughs> Around the world, around the world. You know, you shouldn't sing copyrighted music on stream. But earlier I was really? singing. I mean, earlier I was singing Disney music, which is even like more dangerous. Yeah, I guess it depends on how good of a singer you are. Uh, will you get content ID'd? Oh god. Let me heal, bro. Just one heal, real quick. Smack. Got him. Oh, so he's your bro now. <laughs> uh, bro derogatory. I know that's not a common use of the, the word bro. More reserved for bra. That would be awfully convenient, <laughs> considering I'd like to end the stream soon. 
know. Ah, you can't parry the stab! Oh. Right, speaking about ending the stream, boss, I say go on with support. Go on with what? Support. Summon people. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, here's here's something. Here's something that I've learned as a streamer. Yes. The individual moments are more important. You know, oh, true. people yeah. people come like one of the things that you learn in. There we go. One of the things that you learn in uh, game design and psychology is that uh, one of the things you learn is that you can't parry the stab attack. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, one of the one of the things you learn is that people have terrible memories, actually. Uh, yeah. generally you only remember two parts of an experience. You remember the highest emotional point and you remember the ending. Uh, oh. and so if you really want a like memorable video, you have to end with the highest emotional point, right? Now, you can also do like mini arcs within your uh, within your video, right? But what I found is if you if you end up um, making the highest emotional point different than the ending, but the ending still satisfying, people will generally be exhausted at the end of your uh, story at the end of your stream or video. Okay. Foolish ambitions to rest. However, in a stream, you can't control when people come and go in your stream, right? That is also true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you putting on Vare's mask? <laughs> uh... So you can't really control what people view as the ending. What you have to control is, is there a good emotional high point in, in the time that they're there, right? And that just means making uh, regular emotional high points. Oh, come on. So close, but in the end, it mattered because we got him. But you know, sir, I got these critical strikes do feel satisfying. And this is with the plus zero weapon. We're not doing bad. What's a plus zero? Huh? Zero. I want to believe. I want to believe you can parry the stab. Uh, an up, uh, plus zero would be unupgraded. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every time I look up in the Dolu cam, uh, there's something new going on. I appreciate that. <laughs> Z, boys keep themselves entertained, sir. So true. But I am I am super happy to see God damn it. I'm super happy to see that my computer can now run OBS and full screen discord uh, stream and this pretty, pretty happily. I think I think the, I think the settings that I have changed have really made a difference. Uh, oh, wow. You shed some light on it. What did you do? Uh, Okay, so the the thing that I think helped the most was going into my NVIDIA settings 
and changing my 3D settings. Ooh. Yeah. It turns out that Elden Ring takes a lot of settings information from NVIDIA. So like NVIDIA is the limiter on what Elden Ring can do, not the other way around. So like I have NVIDIA set to performance. So even if I were to go into um, quality settings, set it to setting to set it to maximum, like it wouldn't change much, right? Right. Well, maybe maximum changes a little bit, huh? Yeah, I see some drop frames back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we don't put it on maximum. Yep. Alright, be a chat and change that mid-game. <laughs> change it mid-game? Okay, let's... Not bad. I only I only took one hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, Lou. You're enabling my worst tendencies. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, nice clip. But, uh, yeah, the other thing that I think made a big difference, right, we're in phase two. Okay, that was poor timing. The other thing that I think made a big difference was the other thing you mentioned. So, um... Do a stick attack. That is not a stick attack, bro. These bro. Derogatory, bro. Um, although that said, you know, it was not running terribly at maximum power either. <laughs> oh man, I just noticed the. Maybe we can even set it to like. Medium. Some settings changes have not been applied. This it wasn't even at full maximum. Oh. But maybe with medium we can get more of the uh, like parry. Yeah, look at that. Parry particle effect. Feels good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely uh, dropping some some quality, though. By which I mean performance. Smack. Yeah, the other thing that made a big difference was uh, setting my router uh, bitrate higher. As you mentioned. Oh, MTU? Yeah, MTU. Oh, did that help, right? Okay. It did help, yeah. Oh. That said, uh, I have been running into issues where the internet just cuts out entirely, but that's not a router issue. That's the internet in my apartment being shitty. Yikes. I would like to, let's see if we can do some custom settings here. Let's do low everything, low normal everything, but uh, see if we can find the setting. Effects quality, maximum effects. They say it's the shader, uh, shadows, and blur things that totally help you with performance. Shadows, especially. 
if you can turn it off. I mean, there are a lot of shadows in this game. Oh, yes. In fact, the DLC is called Shadow of the Entry. <laughs> <laughs> They know what they know what imagine, they know what gamers off want. The shadows. <laughs> Turn off the shadows. <laughs> DLC is off the earthy now. <laughs> they know There's what no shadow. They know what gamers want. More shadows. More shadows. <laughs> yeah, this is what I want. I want. We don't even need maximum effects settings. But did, have you noticed that when I do a partial parry, there are red sparks as well? Yes, I, I've seen that. Yes, yeah, off. yeah, yeah. Partial parry, red sparks, full parry, like a full shower of sparks. Maybe we put maximum, maybe we change that to high. Okay. Give me, give me the spark shower. Beautiful. If you're going to do a parry build, you got to make them parries look good, you know. That said, it is probably about time to wrap things up. Huh? So, yes, boss. it seems like I might not beat Margaret on my corporate retreat. It's just a training sim, boss. You become better in parries now. Uh, so that's a plus. I definitely do feel like I'm getting better. And also, you've ma you managed to figure out uh, how to show particle effects on parry. Very true. Warrior blood must so this, uh, maybe this whole retreat wasn't about target defeat after all. It was about particles. You know what, Delu? What? You're right. Yes. Who needs who, who needs to beat this guy anyway? <laughs> Besides, it's a computer sim. Yeah, it's not real. It's not. Yeah. Real. Uh, that said, I do have an idea of what I can. What are you wearing? Oh, you're wearing the. I gotta move the Dolu cam. Uh, there we go. Now we can see your gorgeous face. Oh, want to do that? Okay. Here. Oh, check out the jawline. I know. I also have excellent jawline on this character. <laughs> uh, go around the camp because not interested. Yes, we'll do one more thing. You know, I do feel like I've gotten better at parrying. OK, at least parrying. So you're going to parry? At least parrying Margaret. Yes. Uh, are the I, I believe I believe fist weapons are like the worst things for parrying, though, right? Oh, yes. They're more aggressive than defensive. So. Yeah. That said, when when I've been using my fist weapons, I have felt the the normal masculine urge to uh, parry with my fist. Uh, this also makes me wonder, where are you going? Uh, so, as you well know, 
<laughs> one of the best daggers in the game is like right here at the very beginning of the game. I. So I figure I'll just go grab it. Oh, OK. If I can. Why are you going back now? Uh, so I'm closer to Bloody Finger Hunter Yura when he spawns in. Uh, cool. Oh, does it mean spawn from the other side? Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he so ah, he, he always smooth. he always summons in on this end. Okay. Okay, well, apparently he can just kill me in one shot. <laughs> I may be a bit underleveled. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, at least I have zero runes, right? Uh -huh. All right, one more try. I know we're over time. Yes, one more try, one more try. One more try. Do I see a ninja move, boss? I'm ready. Check my cam. Ready? Mm hmm. What? Nothing happened. Oh. <laughs> Were you trying to do the smoke? Yes. Didn't happen. <laughs> 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 Fascinating. Well, I got 56 the of fashion. Is that the the Renala helm? No, boss. It's uh, one of those uh, militia guys hats. You know those little dudes? Oh, the 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 vulgar militia, indeed. Yeah, those those. Yes. So your caption said, Volga River Alicia, indeed. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh. Yeah, don't try to parry jumping attacks. I've learned that. All right, Yura. Where are you? I need you, Yura. Robots heal. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Stay in full health. Help me, Hera. Backstab, boss, backstab. Yes. The bully strategy. This guy's so dodgy, though. Oh, we got to bleed on him. But of oh, course, smooth. don't let him heal. Don't let him heal. Don't let him heal. Oh. I don't. Uh, I'm not that fast. No. Oh, no. 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 Oh. Worm. Okay, change of fashion, more motivational stuff. <laughs> That's right, Dylan. Uh, I need more motivation. <laughs> All right, one more try, uh, one more try, one more try. Okay. God skin. Ooh. May the power of the gods be with thee. <gasps> I just love how the mustache is fluorescent white. 
And so you can see it like through everything. <laughs> Dagger, sir. What is the skill on my dagger? Quick step. Can you step, boss? Do not carry this guy. <sighs> Try left. No thanks. I feel like I have to parry, though. Isn't parrying? Oh yeah, of course. Parrying because the. This is you did a training sim. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the parrying training sim. All right. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Sure, make him run for the money. Run for the money. Two for the show. Don't do your jumping attack. All right, that was that was a that was a good one, but I'm still parrying too late. All right, Yura, get in here. Is in there he is. Ooh, whoa! The end is you. Oh, boss, no, careful! Careful! Oh. Get over here, Yura. I need you. I need you distraction. Distraction force. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see if we can get a backstab in on him. Oh, that was... I even did the animation. There we go. Excuse me? The fucking dragonfly wants to go. Way too early. Ugh. Give me your knife. I want your knife. All right. Backstab strats. He's just said over his dead body. <laughs> over my dead body. Well, yes, that's the plan. Oh, he's just focusing on Yura now. Backstab strats. Bleed strats. Try to heal. Now's our moment. You're up. Yo! Oh, what an ending. Bloody finger vanquish. <laughs> yes. Nice. And that means <gasps> Reduvia. Not actually that much more power, but quite a bit more bleed, which is really good. And the Reduvia Bloodblade, which is really good. Hell yeah. And with that, I think that is a good spot to end. This boss. Look at that. Emotional high point attained. Wow. <laughs> so, oh, did you notice the best upgrade in the entire game? They changed the, the Bandai Namco loading oh, screen yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't yeah. flash bang you anymore. <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, the. Instead of instead if I of I want to disable my cam boss. Oh, yes, let's do that. Uh, bring back the background music. Yes. All right. There we go. In. Uh, we actually we didn't do uh, what's it called? We didn't do. Um, Co-op. But we did do simultaneous. We both played Elden Ring today. Yes. 
And in the business world, technically accurate is the best kind of accurate. So <laughs> I believe that that counts. Let's it does watch. Let's go. However, there's no review situations though. <laughs> That's true. I did do a lot of work on Margaret and I have not beaten him yet, which means I can't leave a review. Well, I can, but it'll be an unofficial review. Here's my re here's my here's my review. Uh, dear Margaret, you a uh, ho? Stop spamming that damn stab attack. I want to parry it. Signed, Isaac Anzu, boss of Chimera Enterprises. <laughs> Can I be the delivery guy, boss? Yes, take this message to, to Margaret and tell him he a ho. <laughs> hey, Margaret, yo ho! Actually, it's more like more like he a hater, really. Let's let's let's, let's be Put real. Your foolish ambitions to rest. He killed uh, me, boss. Um. He is he is such a hater. <laughs> that's that's what I should have said. You a hater. Well, uh, Dolu. It looks like our good fellow company of VTubers, Nova Swarm, is currently uh, dying in the DLC. So why don't we go? Uh, why don't we go raid them? Ardo Ken. Yeah, uh, no spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. We'll, we'll raid them out of the kindness of our hearts, and then we will close our yes. eyes very tightly. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then I will do uh, some research into the, the question that Dresden asked me, because it's important to okay. take care of your audience. Anyway. Hey, my text to speech didn't work. I heard it. Did it not come through on the, the thing? Hado Ken. Did it not? Did you did you hear it on on stream? Nope. Oh, oh, I know why. Because your stream is muted. <laughs> oh, well, yes, that would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you're still in chat, grab that raid message. Let's go check out Nova Swarm. They are cool. Rig is currently playing. Uh, Elden Ring, but remember to close your eyes very tightly so that you are not spoiled. Uh, yes. My name is Isaac Anzi, the best boss you ever have. Uh, good night. Sleep tight. Thank you so much for joining me today, Delu, despite the technical difficulties we had. No problem, boss. And don't let the Bitcoins bite. Bye-bye. Do not. <laughs> oh.